Welcome to the Chicken Dentures Rewind. As we all know, the original RT recap met its tragic end in 2015, and since then, their content hasn't stopped. Uh, here we are trying to make sense of it all and keep up with their never-ending passion of making content. Here's some quick news before we dive into the scheduled content you can find on RoosterTeeth.com. Ruby Season 9 has a premiere date announcement of early 2023. A new show is set to premiere for first members called Red Dragon Inn. Eight of the realm's fiercest competitors gather for a tournament of drinking, gambling, and roughhousing. Only one will have the ability and alcohol tolerance to be crowned victor and win the jackpot. This is going to be just like their sister series Hardcore Tabletop and Hardcore Mini Golf. Uh, Survival Block Meltdown is to premiere September 16th. Always Open is coming back this fall, announced at RTX this week. Along with that, streamer Blizzbear joins STF. Rooster Teeth has announced that Ruby will be having a crossover into the DC Universe under the Warner Brothers name along with the new video game Ruby Arrowfell. This week in podcast from RT Proper we have D&D, but it's a murder mystery with Alfredo, BK, Armando, and Dungeon Master Gabe. Who done it? Don't miss out on Anma with Gus, Eric, and Jeff as they reminisce about their convention memories. We have Fuckface109, another week with Jeff, Gavin, and Andrew Patton. The RT Podcast has Gus, Gavin, Barb, Jessica, and of course, Gus this week. Black Box Down tackles Flight 4184 as Gus tells us about the tragic disaster of 1994, where this flight lost control in icy weather, crashed, and killed all 68 people on board. Trevor and Alfredo talk about the biggest art heist in modern history this week on Red Web. Squad Team Force continue their campaign on Tales from the Stinky Dragon, episode 55. Jack, Jeff, and BK interview TikTok creator Youth Pastor Ryan this week on Annual Pass, episode 25. The crew we talk about their project with Japanese animation studio, Studio Shaft. Ruby Ice Queendom. You can watch the one-hour special on the Rooster Teeth website right now. State Farm's Gamerhood Challenge ended this week as stars are RT cast and streamers alike as they compete with each other for charity. I definitely recommend watching this whole series and hope to find more content creators collaborating with Rooster Teeth again. Of course, this week wouldn't have ended correctly if we didn't have our Rooster Teeth animated adventures. We have RTAA with Survival Block Island, where the team needs to tell Charlotte that Patrick didn't survive. Face Jam Animated goes back to the Arby's episode for the world record longest curly fry. This week in Achievement Hunter, Alfredo, Michael, and BK play through all of the quarry. You can find all those episodes uncut on the RT website. Dare to say that it's better than Until Dawn, you decide. Alfredo, Matt, Kai, and Joe play Arcadegeddon. It's made by the same studios as Friday the 13th, Star Citizen, and Evolve. Familiar names like Jordan Matthewson, known as Kucha, and Joe, formerly of the Creatures and Cow Chop, are now members of the Alphonic Studios, which made the game. Our very own Elise Wilms is also a writer for Arcadegeddon, so check it out when it comes out July 8th. Between the games this week, Joe turns himself into a bowling ball. Uh, his last stand of the Achievement Hunter animated adventure also tra- turns into a tragic misfortune. <laughs> this week on Off Topic number 341, Michael, Matt, Kai, and Joe talk about Michael having another kid and possibly naming them Matt Bragg Jones with loads of other things. On the uh, OT3 podcast featuring Steffi, Ashley, and Sarah, um, they talk about Wiggly Wobblies and Doctor Who. Starting off strong this week for Funhouse, Jessica and Elise talk about Vlad the Impaler in 30 morbid minutes. Ship hits the fan on the SS Atlantic as Charlotte, Patrick, and Brian Gar talk about one of the worst maritime disasters. Armando, Jacob, James, and Charlotte talk about VidCon this week on the Funhouse podcast. The Medford Bend Mystery Club explore more of the staunch dinner in this week's episode of Must Be Dice. Our final episode of Marvel Monday ends on a bang as we have guest star The Thing. And no, it's not just John Smith in orange paint. Patrick James and Elise play through the 2005 Fantastic Four game. Not only is looking not a crime, licking ain't a crime either on this week's RE House Party. The kids play GTA this week and talk about Gundam. The only thing that dries up a vagina faster than the sight of a Gundam model being built is the whisper quiet clickety clack of a custom mechanical keyboard. If you haven't kept up with Funhouse public broadcasting videos, I implore you to catch up Dick Winkle, played by Jacob, host a game show. Is it cake? Written and directed by John Holland, who also teams up with Red State Ryan to face off against Baby Boy Jacob and Lindsay in Google Trends. Hosted always by our short king, Armando. We finally get to enjoy Dan's favorite game, the N64 Mario Kart along with Alana, Ryan, and Jacob. Catch up with Brian Gar about Diablo Immortal and its insane in-app purchases in Inside Gaming Roundup. RTX Recap. 
This year was not as big as the years leading up to the pandemic. Um, the number reported for 2018 was 65,000 attendees, which is crazy. This year, we couldn't get a definite number, but we're guessing it was around 12,000 to 20,000 max for the whole weekend. Um, there are plenty of panels to attend, uh, from Google Trends, from the Funhouse, to a podcast festival, which included Brett Hundley, formerly of Cow Chop. There are community panels, such as the RT Pride panel, Black Experience as a Black Creator on Twitch. Uh, basically, there was something for everyone, as they included the podcast festival and animation festival. Um, the exhibit hall had plenty of vendors, but our most anticipated vendor was a no-show. The, uh, the RT store was lacking, and of course, the lines were not something that we missed. Um, they actually only had one Funhouse shirt this year, and I was not a fan of the brown color of the RTX shirt. Uh, but there were a lot of other good merchants, so we'll include some photos of the things that we got. One of the things that we wanted to address was something Barbara commented on this year, uh, which was there's not a big streaming presence that is usually had by RTX, so people who cannot attend will usually watch from home and enjoy all their panels, but um, this year was different because they didn't really meet the requirements financially to fund every room to have a streaming team set up. Each room would have cost a minimum of $20,000, like Barb stated, so that would be around, well, at least $200,000 for the um, entire weekend, which is not something that they were able to do. Um, every night there included an evening event, first night, comedy night, theater mode, there was a rave, and the ultra badge variety show. All in all, it was a great RTX. Uh, we want to know what everybody's favorite panel was. Ours, of course, was on the spot with Charlotte Patrick versus Blaine and Chris, and our favorite ho host, Armando. Thank you, Gabby, for the RTX recap. It was truly a great year to come back to Austin, as you can see with my new RTX shirt. Um, if you don't know, my name is Kathy. We are going to try and do a Chicken Dentures Rewind every week, just like the RT Recap once was. We love Rooster Teeth and all of their content, uh, and we hope to make this a quick summarization, weekly recap uh, of our favorite online content creators for the community. Thank you guys, and join us next week. <laughs>